Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the F6 wireless Bluetooth speaker. Even though it has a round shape, this is actually a stereo speaker. So there's left and right channels built on in that provides pretty good audio quality for the price. It sells for under 60 bucks on Amazon. It's advertised as a high fidelity, high quality speaker. So we'll be testing out those claims in a bit. But for now, I have to say I like the fabric look. It's a look that's becoming more and more popular in the past few months. And it certainly provides an alternative to the more generic rubber and plastic accents we find on most most of these speakers. The box here is quite large and hefty though, and it comes in a few different colors as far as the fabric that you can customize with. It can also be hung onto the wall, for instance, for a more permanent setup. And on the back, you can see some basic specs, including speaker drivers being 52 millimeters, four ohms, 20 core, and six watts in terms of power output. The Judging by some of these specs, it seems like this will be a rather large speaker, probably larger than I expected just by looking at the images online. This is probably closer to the size of this box, and it's charged up using a simple micro USB cable, which is 5 volts, 1 amp. Quickly opening things up. Indeed, this is a, a very large speaker. You can see on top here. We'll take a closer look at the design in a second. Instruction manuals printed both in Chinese and English. It does support a micro SD card, it looks like, so you can insert a card loaded with MP3 songs and it plays it back directly like an MP3 player. Of course, you can also connect an auxiliary cable to an older iPod, for instance, or use Bluetooth for connecting wirelessly to a phone. Uh, it looks like the color we have here is actually the red fabric version. Interesting. And there's also the cord, which you use to hang it onto a wall, and also a little stand, which is color-coordinated with the speaker. So I guess it makes sense now why this is retailing at 60 bucks for a more generic speaker without a real brand name behind it, because the size of this is definitely larger than I anticipated. So. If we do a quick size comparison, here is an older phone, but nonetheless a device that has uh, decent dimensions, that has roughly a 4-inch screen, and you can see next to this speaker, it seems absolutely tiny. This actually reminds me a little of the U, uh, UE Boom series speakers, the one with the fabric material, uh, in terms of its designs and its buttons, but it does look quite classy and elegant. Down below here we have access to the controls, which are fairly tactile and responsive. We can use this to skip tracks, we can also play or pause our music, answer or reject phone calls as well, since there is a microphone built in, and there's also volume controls on the sides. There's a few rubber feet actually as well that prevents from sliding around, and part of this is with the stand that comes included. It's made out of plastic, but it sticks into the back like so, and afterwards it stays into one spot and you don't have to mount it to anything for it to stand up. This is actually a pretty elegant solution. Popping this back out again, there's access to a standard micro SD card slot, the auxiliary 3.5mm port for connecting to a wired source, the micro USB port for charging, and a dedicated power on off switch. Another function is an FM radio, and what's nice is that the antennas are embedded onto these sides, which means that there isn't going to be a need for a bulky you know, traditional wire that you have to stretch out, so everything is nicely integrated into this one look. It's actually quite clean, and despite the fact that it's rather bulky and heavy, the fact fabric material combined with the soft touch rubber on the back makes it feel quite premium and easy to grip and hold, so it doesn't attract too much fingerprints or dust. Setting this off to the side, we also have the 4-inch auxiliary cable. There is a micro USB cable for charging. Now this will charge up in around 3 hours or so. This is a nice flat ribbon wire cable that they give you as well, and it can be used when charged. So as you charge it, you can still use it, which is nice. Finally, there is this uh, cable for mounting it onto the wall, I believe. Kind of a strange accessory that I've never seen bundled with a speaker before, so we have to take a closer look at this. And that mounts nicely onto the two holes on either side of the speaker, and it fits in pretty well. So, upon a first glimpse, I am really impressed by the design and the build of this hardware. Uh, obviously, we'll have to see if the sound quality stacks up in a moment, but for now, I have to say that it actually is surprisingly nice, nicely thought out. And the strap here, it isn't made out of a real leather to synthetic leather, but it feels durable enough to carry it around, or of course to hang it against a wall if you want a more permanent setup. So let's take a closer look at the sound quality next. 
So some things to point out before we play an audio clip, this isn't a waterproof speaker. You can see that none of the ports are covered up by rubber, so make sure you don't take it to the beach or get it wet, and it should survive. You can hang it onto doors uh, or anything that really has a protrusion, and you can see that it stays in place quite well. Pairing is simple. The connection range is roughly 10 meters or 30, 33 feet using Bluetooth version 4.0, and the battery is 1,800 milliamp hours, quite large for a Bluetooth speaker, and that enables it to play back sound for around 6.5 hours before it needs to be recharged again and that is actually pretty good battery life and performance. The built-in mic is also good for making phone calls and speaker phone calls indoors and uh, otherwise it's, it works well for watching a few clips or movies as well because there isn't that much latency before between what happens on screen or the video and the audio so everything seems to be quite in sync. Uh, so let's play a sound clip now. This is right, uh, this is at 50% uh, volume. Alright, so pausing the music and kind of reflecting on what we hear, the audio quality, I have to say, is excellent, especially for such a large speaker at sub $60. Uh, I was impressed by the amount of bass that it packs in. I didn't really expect it to have even a passive radiator since it has this non-traditional round shape to it, but you can really hear the notes in the lower frequencies. It uh, packs in the punch for, uh, you know, if you listen to bass or cellos or drum beats, it really comes across very strongly. Um, otherwise, it also performs well in terms of just listening to regular music. It's clear sounding, and there's no static or distortion. You can hear how we've stopped the music, or rather paused it, and even listening very closely, you know, there's very little static uh, in the background, which is very common in these Bluetooth speakers. So you're bound to hear a little bit of interference or distortion since at the end of the day, they're not audiophile grade and uh, wired speakers do tend to give you slightly better sound. But really quite impressed with what I'm hearing here from that audio clip. And all the controls and functions also work if you're connected to an Android phone or a iPhone, which I tested it with. So all in all, audio quality is excellent. Although the F6 isn't as feature rich as we would have liked, such as having waterproof abilities, adding Wi-Fi for audio streaming, this really delivers as a low cost Bluetooth speaker or a stereo Bluetooth speaker that packs in function as well as a very elegant style. It far exceeds my expectations as far as sound and design for something so low cost and without a real brand name behind it. Functions work as expected, including playing music, using it to place phone calls, the ability to use it uh, on a desk, or carrying it with you using the strap is also extremely helpful. And of course, you can use it as a boombox by popping in your own songs without connecting to an external source, and that delivers good, clear audio quality as well. So all in all, this is actually a surprisingly good speaker. I'll have to say that if you just want a simple, straightforward, easy to use, easy to pair Bluetooth speakers, something no frills without any extra this is a good option to consider, especially if you want something that fills up spaces really well. You can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This is a closer look at the F6 Stereo Bluetooth Speaker.